Hey guys, Steve Bates at KPMG with another special edition of CIO Real Insights. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the heightened cybersecurity risks related to remote working in response to COVID-19. As CISOs, CIOs, and business owners grapple with an expanded and more complex threat landscape, we're currently seeing six risks and security threats we want organizations to be aware of related to remote working during these times. So let's get started. Number one, CEO fraud exploiting social distancing. CEO fraud involves emails or phone calls trying to persuade the receiver to transfer corporate funds to other bank accounts. The requester claims to be the CEO, CFO, or other senior company figure being under intense pressure to get an important payment through. We're seeing the frequency and likelihood of these type of scams significantly increasing during this crisis. And while most companies have preventative protocols and controls in place, it is important to advise staff with access to corporate bank accounts to keep adhering to money transfer protocols and then to motivate them to follow the incident management processes and escalate any irregular communications that they might receive. Number two, insecure remote connections at the home office. As we discussed in our video about technically enabling remote working, not all organizations are prepared to or are able to offer mass remote options. IT staff under time pressure and stress might not acquire and architect the most secure solutions. So we highly recommend the use of multi-factor authentication for access to company data, along with securely configured and reputable cloud solutions for collaboration wherever possible. Number three, increased personal use of company devices. So when working from home, employees may be tempted to use their company equipment, meaning their laptops or phones, for personal purposes. And this may increase the risk of these devices being infected with a virus or malware when visiting less secure personal interest related websites. And lately, advertisements on such websites in particular have been known to spread malware. So we recommend updating company devices automatically and following the advice of the software vendor. We especially recommend updating your browsers and related third-party software, such as PDF readers and flash players and Java. Number four, employees under financial stress or job uncertainty may pose a risk as an insider threat. With the current economic uncertainty of the pandemic, employees under financial stress or in danger of losing their jobs may demonstrate less loyalty to their employer. And foreign agents and competitors have been known to exploit such circumstances when approaching potential victims to steal key corporate data. In our people and communication video, we discussed that the best plan is to be transparent in your messaging and personally engage and monitor your staff's well-being. Pick up on those cries for help and then meet poor behavior with a solid organizational response. For example, attention, understanding, and then action. For more on this topic, check out the link on this page called The Critical Path to Insider Risk. Moving on, number five, confidentiality at home. As we've seen on numerous videos and social media posts and just personal experience, working from home surrounded by family and friends can be unpredictable and complicated to say the least. One of the least understood risk dimensions surrounds the topic of confidentiality. Children, a spouse, or roommates may not be aware of the confidentiality level of information they hear or that they see. So we advise you to have your staff work in separate rooms as much as possible. Do not leave out confidential information for others to happen across. Use those privacy screens on laptops 
and request staff to have calls using headsets instead of a speakerphone. And number six, phishing attempts specifically related to COVID-19. So since mid-February, KPMG has seen the rapid build-out of infrastructure by cyber criminals used to launch COVID-19 themed spear phishing attacks and to lure targets to fake websites seeking to collect Office 365 credentials or triggering the download of Emotet, TrickBot, and Ryuk malware. So going forward, as you coordinate your response across all three lines of defense, meaning operational management, risk oversight, and internal audit, there are some key steps you should take to reduce the risk to your organization and your employees, particularly as you move to remote working. So raise awareness amongst your team, warning them of the heightened risk of COVID-19 themed fraud and phishing attacks, and reinforce the importance to your employees of following the existing protocols and to raise their hand if anything seems out of place. Next, the internal audit function should offer specific guidance and practical ways in which the design or execution of controls can be modified to accommodate changes in management decision-making or organizational risk tolerance. Next up, make sure you set up strong passwords and preferably two-factor authentication for all remote access accounts and particularly for Office 365 access. Next, ensure that all company provided laptops have up-to-date antivirus and firewall software. Next, add a dedicated hotline, a service desk menu, or a portal to report any security concerns, including potential phishing. Encrypt data at rest on your laptops and add data loss prevention software to detect data breaches and leaks. Lastly, disable USB drives to avoid the risk of malware, offering employees an alternative way of transferring data such as secure collaboration tools. So that's just a few of the immediate and near-term considerations on some key risks and security related areas that you might consider during this time. Keep in mind, technology can only go so far in protecting your most critical assets. Supporting changes in human behavior, particularly around generating awareness and providing easily accessible support and avoiding a sense of fear and retribution are equally important. We've got a lot more short videos coming your way, including ones on prioritizing daily work, IT funding and cost management, the cloud, and preserving your transformation programs. Remember, at any time, if you need help, just click the link below and get connected to an expert for more advice and support on your situation. So until next time, thanks for watching and stay healthy.